In this video, we will be starting a new chapter that is chapter number 5 that is separation of substances. Now separation of substances, first we will understand about mixture and pure substances. After that we will be studying about the types of mixture. Now see, when there are molecules of two or more substances, then it is called as mixture. The substance that contains molecules of two or more substances then it is called as mixture now if I say a lemon water, a lemonade right lemonade contain water then it contains lemon juice salt sugar mint leaves black pepper so lemonade is made up of all these substances so lemonade is a mixture because that contains molecules of two or more substances if i uh, talk about milk milk is a mixture it contains water cream and other things then air is also a mixture of several gases then sea water is a mixture as it has several, several salts dissolved in water the common salt we use it in our food comes mostly from sea water so all these are mixture pure substances now if a substance contains only one type of atoms or molecules then it is called a pure substance that is oxygen oxygen is made up of O2 that is two atoms of oxygen so it is a pure substance which contains only one type of atoms or molecules nothing else is involved in it if I say water then water is a mixture H2O as it contains two hydrogen and one oxygen so it is containing it is a mixture water because it is containing hydrogen and oxygen so the more than one type of atom or molecule it is con containing whereas oxygen is a pure substance now types of mis mixtures number one is homogeneous mixture right now what is homogeneous mixture See, the constituents are the different substances that are present in the mixture are called its components or constituents. Sometimes the constituents are uniformly spread over the mixture and each part of the mixture has the same property. Such a mixture is called homogeneous mixture. Now first of all let's understand the different substances present in a mixture are called components 
all constituents. Now, homogeneous mixture is the mixture in which the constituents or the components you can say are uniformly spread over the mixture and each part of the mixture has the same properties then the mixture is known as your homogeneous mixture now for example solution of water in sugar now sugar gets completely dissolved in water there are no particles that are left behind sugar gets completely dissolved in water so see you do not see any particles that are left if this is a jar and you are taking water in this and you add some sugar particles and mix well again you won't be able to unless until you taste you won't be able to recognize that this water contains sugar just because it gets mixed with water completely now heterogeneous mixture see when the constituents or components you can say are not evenly spread throughout the mixture and each part of the mixture does not have the same properties then such a mixture is called a heterogeneous mixture now let's uh, suppose if you mix iron fillings in sand it will have more iron fillings at some places and less at other places the iron and sand molecules will not be evenly spread in the mixture now if you take a chalk powder if this is a water and if you add chalk powder to it you will see that the color of the water has changed and you can see the uh, water has become dusty so this is a example of heterogeneous mixture like mixer chalk powder to water now if you mix iron fillings and sand then this mixture is also known as heterogeneous mixture i hope you have understood this do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us